Welcome behind the scenes at the DEA Museum. I'm Casey, the museum's historian. And I'm Emma, the museum technician. And we're here in the collections facility to introduce this month's featured artifact, a Jesus Malverde statue. Every month, we'll take you into the collection and share stories about our most exciting objects. This statue of a Mexican folk saint was seized by DEA agents in 2013 while executing a federal search warrant in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Jesus Malverde is a spiritual icon that originated in Sinaloa, Mexico over 100 years ago. Known as the generous bandit and the angel of the poor, Malverde represents different ideas and beliefs to the people who pray to him. He's not an official Catholic saint, but people have built shrines to him, especially in Culiacan, Sinaloa, the location of a Jesus Malverde chapel. Sinaloa is also where several Mexican drug traffickers are from. They too have embraced Malverde, believing he will protect them from harm and arrest. According to legend, Malverde was a real person born in the late 19th century named Jesus Juarez Mazo. At the time, Mexico was changing. Politicians wanted to modernize the country, build new railroads, and encourage international business ventures. However, only a small group of people profited from those, particularly stakeholders in those businesses. Tensions rose between social classes as poverty continued in the country and bandits increasingly robbed travelers. Eventually, unrest sparked the Mexican Revolution in 1910. Mazzo turned to banditry in these trying times. He stole from the rich and gave to the poor, a kind of Mexican Robin Hood. Supposedly, Mazzo was a cunning thief who cloaked himself in leaves to remain undetected. Some say that's why his victims began calling him Malverde, or Bad Green. There are many conflicting stories about Malverde's life, and scholars have found no evidence of his existence. It's more likely that people mixed together the details of other bandits from the period when sharing tales about Malverde. No matter his true origin, those who believe in Malverde say he died on May 3, 1909, a day that is celebrated by people in Sinaloa every year. Statues like this one are sold in local marketplaces along with Malverde-themed candles, artwork, and other items. There are even businesses named after the folk saint near the site where people believe Malverde is buried. The spot was paved over as a parking lot, but it hasn't kept people from leaving stones, flowers, pictures, and other handwritten prayers at the supposed grave. While most devotees are from Mexico, Malverde does have followers in the United States. DEA agents sometimes find statues or pictures of him in the possession of drug traffickers. When agents found this one, it included a picture of Malverde cradling the statue's owner in his arms. Jesus Malverde is just one of many significant cultural symbols that agents encounter in their work. Like many symbols and icons, Malverde means different things to different people, making him a complicated figure whose history is important for agents to learn and understand. This statue is only one of the over 45,000 artifacts, photographs, videos, and documents in the DEA Museum's collection. Each illuminates important moments in the history of DEA, federal drug law enforcement, and drug use in American culture. To learn more about DEA's work and other fascinating stories from the collection, follow the museum on Facebook, go to deamuseum.org, or visit the museum in person. Thanks for joining us.